Swimming is such a complex mechanism that's all working together. The timing of the stroke, feel for the water, balance. This is a technique-based sport. Unless you change the mechanism, people won't have the ability to reach their peak. To be able to take someone and put them in the endless pool and then show the swimmer exactly what they just did, they learn how to change and adapt their stroke. There's really never been any other thing uh, that you've been able to accomplish this in until the endless pool. So guys, what we're going to do first is we're just going to do some really slow balance drills, okay? The instincts of swimmers are, is to survive. Humans want to have their heads above water. And so whenever swimmers turn to breathe, they use their hands a lot in ways that are not necessarily productive. Her head, her body line, everything is perfect until right there. So she doesn't roll to air, she lifts the head way up. Allegra? What you're doing is you're taking your arm down and lifting your head up like this. Now we want to keep that unit absolutely locked. So what you're going to have to focus on is making sure that the body stays like this. The arm doesn't go down. The head and the neck don't come apart from each other. So the only way to accomplish that is you have to roll everything a little bit more as a unit. Watch the palm. Yep. There's no way that you can get any leverage with the palm on its side like that. So yep. she is not using her hand at all for leverage, which is exactly what you want. Yeah, she's great. You feel that alignment? Yeah. That was great. Absolutely perfect. Okay, thanks. If we can teach people balance, which we can do here in the endless pool, and really see the results immediately by the lack of using the hands to stabilize, then we've, we've created better swimmers. In the pool, with the acoustics as is, it's difficult sometimes. You definitely have to raise your voice. But if I were to turn around and try to get attention to somebody in lane three, it could take me potentially minutes. When you teach in a regular pool, if the student pushes off the wall and starts to do something that's incorrect, you're either going to have to yell and scream or you're going to have to wait till you get to the other end before you stop them. Whereas in the endless pool, you either just have to reach out and tap them or shut off the water and say, those two strokes were wrong. Let's make the correction and let's start over again. There's less imprinting of incorrect technique in an endless pool than there is in any other type of pool. What the endless pool does, it affords you to be able to stop, pause, and then deconstruct and have that athlete actually see that immediately. What you see right here is that the line looks pretty good, but if you look at your hips, what do you notice? They're going down. Yeah, and you can look at the line on the, the step you want to be parallel, parallel with that. It's just a little bit more dynamic when, as an athlete, you can see what you're not doing or what you are doing. And you can't do that in a regular pool. This arm is being used for leverage, and the hips start to fall apart. So what we need to learn is how do we turn our head? It's the immediacy of the feedback. Some people learn a certain way, and sometimes the less instruction, the more discovery, because they're watching it as it happens, is the best teaching that you can do. He's adjusting now. Yeah, that's beautiful. We like to use a, a Finesse Tempo Trainer when we swim in our practices and our workouts with our high-level swimmers. Here's what I want you to do. Go swim like, uh, swim like 10 strokes for me. Yeah, just go ahead and go. I'm just going to try and match it. The Endless Pool allows you to vary water speed around a set cadence or very cadence around a set water speed. This is your stroke right now, so just put that under your cap. Every time you hear that beep, take a stroke. I want you to take 30 strokes, okay? When we use tempo trainers in the pool, we're trying to base everything off of a time, yep. all right? And what impacts time is your push off, your turns. Uh, there's a lot of things. Here, we have a consistent water speed we go to 97. Okay. Okay, 97. Gus, this is five one hundredths of a second slower per stroke. We're slowing his stroke rate down, which means he has to get more out of each stroke. He's got to become more accurate on each stroke in order to keep this speed. To be able to stop action, if you will, adjust the tempo trainer and then give it back to the swimmer and then have it readjust 
within five seconds as opposed to three minutes, four minutes, five minutes in the pool. It's just maximizing technical training that much quicker. We're up to 107, and remember, we started at 92. We have not changed the water speed at all. What we're going to do next is we're going to go all the way back down to 92. Okay? Yeah. And so, again, not changing the water speed. Yeah. If his his aggression and everything, yeah. he's going to swim right through the end of the pool. Okay. All right. So what I want you to do is before you get going, I want you, I'm going to give this to you. In fact, you're going to go back there. I'm going to toss it to you. You stick it in your cap and you go. Water speed has not changed. Don't forget. Okay. See, he's coming all the way up to the front. Harder or easier? What? Easier. What do you think that rate was? Like 90 something? It was 92. The goal is that the more you do this and the more you press it, that that original rate becomes so easy that you can do that original rate at a higher speed. There are an unlimited number of experiments that you can apply to the endless pool. It's a game that you can play and it keeps things extremely interesting for the swimmer. What's, what's really cool about the endless pool, ultimately, there is no limit to what you can do, except your imagination. Any team that has access or gets an endless pool almost immediately has an advantage over another team because of the self-discovery process that every athlete gets when they get in this pool. It doesn't matter what level they are, they will learn this.